gamers and game mats, what is going on? My name is Tanek127 and welcome back to another Fantasy Star video. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys just some tips and tricks and everything on leveling and stuff like that. But before we get to today's video, as always, let me do my shameless plugins. If you're not, follow me on Mixer.com slash 127 where I stream regularly. And I'm also doing a giveaway of 500 followers. If you love my videos, you are going to love my streams. That's Mixer.com slash 127 Also, if you're not, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Tanek127. You know, just give me a reason to take a selfie with my sad life and, and all that stuff. You know, inter interact with me a bit on Twitter. I'm just kidding, guys. Not a sad life. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about um, what we're going to talk about today. Now, that's just some tips and tricks for leveling in Fantasy Star Online 2. Now, surprise! Fantasy Star Online 2 is in open beta on Xbox One. It'll soon be here on PC and most likely other platforms. So regardless of what platform you're playing this on in the future, these tips will help you. Now, granted, you know, this is not some super guide that promises, oh, level cap in so-and-so hours if you do like this. Uh, this is simply a beginner's guide to help you get started and easiest ways to level up in the game. Now, like all MMOs, the most easy and simple way to level up is simple. Do your quests. Now, that's, you know, an obvious thing. But Fancy Star likes to take that and amplify it times, let's say, 10,000. And no, I'm not kidding. So when you spawn here into the main hub area, you're going to have several people and NPCs and stuff like that that all give you quests. And every single one of these quests are worth tons of XP. And no, I'm not kidding. As you guys can see, the main lady here, Rebecca... She's uh, the host that actually sends you on your quest. You come talk to her, you know, whenever you're ready to go out on a mission. She has main quests for me. As you guys can see, I got a few main quests right here. Expeditions. I have a whole list of them. Story quests. I have some story quests I need to do in here. I have sub quests. As you guys can see, I have a ton of those. There, there's quest, 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 quest. And also the NPCs around, like good old Alf in here. There's another guy over here that I'm going to show you guys. Um right now in the shopping plaza now these are just starter npcs you're going to unlock more npcs like this as you go along as y'all can see i have an orange indicator telling me to go to this man right now and as y'all can see he has a nice little green quest turned in for me they're called client orders most of the npcs that you work with in this game are going to be referred to as as um clients i'll have to go ahead and turn that in get myself some good old xp right now but a lot of these guys are going to hand you little side quests and side objectives that are really just there to teach you the game and the cool thing about them is you can knock a lot of them out in single missions so imagine doing your your story quest and um let's say alfin over here gives me a quest that um that says uh kill 10 dragons well i go do a story quest that has dragons in it not only will I kill those 10 dragons, but I could have another quest from the other guy that says, you know, bring him along with you. So I can kill the 10 dragons in that story quest while bringing that guy along with me. And, you know, that's three that's three quests knocked out at, at one time. And as you guys can see, for turning in that order for him, she has a another one. Another one for me. Suppress, suppress Automata. Something I just simply did while I was out questing. Now, last but not least, one other one other tip I want to give you guys that are going to um that's really going to going to give you guys some some great XP is um running your quest on higher difficulties. Now, a lot of times when you pick your quest, you're going to notice that they have different difficulty levels. As for example, suppress Zaldon right here. Hope I said his name right. Normal is level 1 and up. It's obviously, you know, one of the first quests that you do in the game. Hard, level 21 and up. That's currently what's recommended for me right now. Then very hard, 41 and up, super hard, 61 and up. And you got you guys get how the, how the difficulty system works. However, when it comes to these difficulty levels, you are able to get in them a lot earlier than what the game, than what the game recommends, recommends for you. Like, for example, there's a lot of um, urgent quests, which are um, kind of like, I guess, PSO2's raids, if you would say. They're, um, they're little timed events that'll pop up throughout the game. You guys will know when they see it, they'll do a big announcement here in the game. The ceiling up here will turn red and all that stuff. I'll put some pictures here up on the screen so you guys can get an example of, um, of what that looks like. But um, 
But yeah, urgent urgent quests. They're um they're a good a good way to uh, to help you level as well. We'll talk about those here in a second. But um, you're allowed to do harder modes a lot faster than what the game recommends than what the game um, recommends for you. Now that's just a recommended level based off you know of what your character can perform perform and stuff and stuff like that. But the one thing you want to do if you if you're gonna go ahead and go into harder difficulty difficulty um quest there's nothing wrong with that just make sure at least your gear is in line and you're doing enough damage to take those kind of enemies and you know you also have some good armor on you so that way you have you have um defense now because there's a lot of things in here i'm not gonna lie to you guys there's a lot of runs you do in here especially with urgent urgent quests where there's just going to be a bunch of people in there anyway and you're probably going to get carried half the time i'm going to be honest honest with you about that i'm pretty sure any pso2 player will We'll probably tell you if you jump in a hard mode raid and you're a little bit un under leveled, you're probably just going to going to get carried through through most of it. But bringing some gear along and weapons where you can just you know hold your own and stuff like that will definitely help benefit you in the raid. And remember, while you're dead, you're not going to be getting XP. So your objective is to definitely um stay alive through that um through that kind of thing. Now, last but not least, unfortunately, I was trying to record this video while one was active. But um, unfortunately, they're not. They're called Urgent Quest. Now, this is my best recommendation for leveling. And once you get to level, I believe it's 20 and higher. You can run them on hard modes and, and higher difficulty modes and stuff like that. But like I said, once you get to that level and you want to start running harder stuff, just make sure you're keeping a close eye on your gear because survivability is going to be key. If you go into one of these things and, you know, you're literally just trying to get carried by other people and you're... And you're not able to survive the damage that the monsters are are hitting you with. You're gonna have a rough time. I'm gonna be honest with you with that. But urgent quests, they're um they're timed events that pop up. I'm gonna say probably two or three times a day. You'll see the whole base here go under alert. Like I said, the ceiling's gonna turn red. They're going to um start saying warning, warning. You know, urgent quest coming. Yada 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 yada. Or something some something of of that nature. And up here at the quest counter. It'll be right above the main quest symbol. It'll be in yellow. It'll say urgent quest. And you go and do those. They're 12 player missions. They're usually in the form of um trying to run around and do and do little world events or they're just one type of big boss or whatever. But they're worth substantial amounts of XP, especially once you start earning them on the harder levels. Honestly, to my opinion, the higher level you get in this game, the easier leveling becomes because the more things you'll have you'll have access to but honestly the overall goal in fantasy star when it comes to leveling my honest advice just pick up as many quests as you possibly can if you do that you'll be golden as long as you know you're completing them you should really have no problem leveling up in this game but anyway guys if this guide helped you be sure to smash that thumbs up button for me and i want to thank you all so much for watching it's your boy snack 127 and please don't forget to like share subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video Till next time, peace out, take care. So can I get some closure? Stay right